thank you Ashish and Ankit for joining us today on VIT NXT. So before we dive in into the main topic of discussion, let's our viewer know about the companies you are coming from. Let us discuss what your company does so that our viewers get to know more about each of your company. Let's start with you Ankit. Yeah. So basically, uh, Housie is a real estate uh, advisory platform uh, making Indians home buying journey simplified. So we are a B2C company. Wherein you know home buyers can visit on our platform, they can analyze, reject, and shortlist projects, and then they can schedule the physical site visit of their uh, you know shortlisted projects. Then our offline team get in touch with all those customers, help them with the complete site visit process, showcasing multiple properties, making sure that they get the bottom pricing and the best possible inventory, and then help them with the booking process. Once the booking process is done, then our post sales team uh, get in touch with those customers and. Uh, be with them throughout their journey uh, till they get the handover of the apartment. So that is what we do. Okay. I think I give a job easy career. We do pretty much uh, so similar yeah. stuff. Just that you know, if I have to probably rephrase differently, uh, uh, discovery and this search is not what we are into. Uh, it's it's more transactions, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I call this as a technical brokerage, TEBs. You know, so. Uh, as much you can do to make transaction journey more efficient uh, for every stakeholder involved. Uh, we fundamentally believe that we are not in a property business. We believe we are in a people's business. Uh, so if we can, you know, sort of empower them as much we can, so that in turn they can make sure that they provide very high level of customer service, uh, and we fit the math so well that everybody in the, you know, equation uh, is is benefiting from it. So talking about transaction, Homespy is a listed company. So let's uh, get to know a bit about the transaction front. Last year, like what was the transaction that you had completed? If you had to give a GTV, uh, you know, idea to our audience, what that would be? Yeah, so it's pretty much easy for me now because we're listed. So uh, you know, we have just recently released our operational update. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done uh, GTV transaction. Of uh, 17, 80 odd crores. This is the number which was blocked until 31st March as uh, as the you know uh, the number of transactions and the units which uh, were tokened, as they say, so to be very precise. You know, uh, uh, a net of cancellations. So mm -hmm. if I add the cancellations to it, you know, which is not what what we told to the market, but if we add to it, then we were just about 1950 to 2000 crores. Like that. So, uh, yeah, this is what was FY23 for us. And that's a great number for a growing company like yours. So, coming to your Ankit, uh, you're not a listed company, but let's be honest about your transactions. So, if you can give an yeah, idea so, about it. So, last year we did around 1080 crores, and, uh, which includes around uh, 1550 uh, apartments which are being booked by our company. And uh, uh, we are growing at a rate of, you know, you can say around 150 to 200 percent on a year on year basis because last year we did around 500, 450 crores. Now we are reaching around 1075, mm -hmm. uh, 1080 crores. And if our audience want to know from both of you, which are the cities you guys are currently operating from and what is your team size? So we are a team size of around uh, 200 plus people. And uh, as of now, we are operated in three cities that is Mumbai, Pune, and Bangalore. Three cities. So for us, it's about 450 odd people, uh, and uh, which includes our, uh, you know, our advisors, our support, our tech, our digital, everything is part of it. And we are uh, based on uh, our HO is Bombay, uh, which is our core market, Mumbai, and then Bangalore, Pune, and NCR. So now that we have a better understanding of your companies, let's completely dive into the main topic of discussion. So I want to know how is broker industry leveraging or adapting to technology and how each of you are leveraging this in your company? So, uh, if I, so you know, in this current scenario, if we time, dekhe, toh, technology has penetrated in every segment. So basically there are three stakeholders in our industry, customers, builders and you know, we as a channel partners. So, if we tell ourselves, the first thing is that the lead generation. So, 100% of the lead generation is now through technology, through various uh, different platforms. 
another second thing is the catering of those needs yeah. how we cater those needs so for that also technology plays you know a major role wherein we have a crm in place where uh, we are in you know system in place ki how the needs will come into our system how it will be divided into each of the person then how we are storing those data mm. in terms of you know different projects different site visits and everything there are multiple segments booked customers and visited customers and then there are shortlisted customers based upon the configuration ki they are looking for one bhk two bhk so technology ka hamare liye as of now in terms of housing we are using in two segments first mm-hmm. in terms of lead generation wherein uh, we use technology the second thing is the catering of those uh, you know leads and third is the in customer front wherein we are using technology to showcase customers the details of the project in a manner so that they are more informed you know as of now agar dekhe to last uh, Few years back, there was uh, yellow pages where you see about details of the brokers. Then there is 99. There multiple uh, platforms come. Listing companies. Yeah, listing companies come. But after that, there is no significant change. Or eight, ten years ago, this scenario is still running, even more than yeah. that. So now we, what we are doing in Housy is we are using technology to make sure that customers just the project basic details or some things to see and not visit. Instead, they get more informed. They can analyze. you know play with the projects reject projects online so in housey our vision is ki we don't say ki people will buy home online we never say that we say ki at least housey mein customers ke aane ke baad they can reject projects wo reject karte ki ye 10 mein se you know char project mere ko nahi dekhne hain che projects hi mere ko dekhne so that is what we are using technology in three fronts in lead generation in catering of the leads and in showcasing more informed details to the customers so yeah, i think again a um, little repetitive that most of the stuff remains same and but i still probably uh, add few more parts to it uh, uh, so obviously you know there are many stakeholders involved uh, i think their technology adoption is also very critical yeah to yours you know so uh, how developers respond to the technology how customers respond to it mm-hmm. we also uh, have a platform called my magnet which is a co broking platform and and we right now have over 8000 odd uh you know property advisors who are part of the family mm-hmm. and and that's so the way they adopted the technology so i think uh, the equation only works when all the stakeholders are are, yeah. are adopting to the technology you know i'm just sort of, like i said i'm adding on to what you like already mentioned so i think the developers uh, you know the way they timely update us on 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 the projects and how we can leverage that information similarly you know they are erp their crms so i think that's where probably i i would lead to that you know uh, uh, post covid we saw at the world digitizing and and the sector was no different yeah. you know and uh, Uh, the moment you uh, are able to provide timely information to the consumer and uh, we used to pre covid zones you know uh, the response was taking time but now in a digitized world you know customers are responding timely and you know so small small things but i think uh, no looking back for this sector on the tech front mm-hmm. and uh, whatever technology will enable us to build in more efficiency more productivity and better returns is mm-hmm. is what will get adopted uh, pretty fast in times to come yeah so i want to know ashish because i have spoken to a lot of prop tech companies and they have said when it comes to tech and especially building technology in real estate industry in india they are uh, very much in sorted way if it's not involving a promoter and you both are from the same sector where you have to deal with the promoter when it comes to tech and convincing them even convincing the channel partners or your agents ki how tech is important to sell uh, to create that lead but maximum promoters are not open about it they are also thinking ki bhai why should i you know give it to him i rather have my own team trying to have a lead generation crm mein bahar se kyun banao but these are the talks which keeps happening and i listen to it i want to know your perspective what kind of challenges do you guys face when you have to convince be the promoter or even your agents how this technology is important yeah i think it's a very good question i think that's where the opportunity lies right you know uh, if fundamentally you want to term it as a first mover advantage and i'm just randomly using this term but yes there is 
huge uh, gap still in this sector and and if you have a reasonable people you speak to and make them understand that what are they missing mm. if they don't adopt to one and i think like on risk of being repetitive the magnet was such piece you know it was very important for us to tell them that you know educate them that you know what is you know we always envisioned it like this that if few steps we took few steps and we could operate at a certain scale there are so many high quality businesses out there if we can go out and and educate them they can also operate at a certain level and so you need to have that kind of a win win mindset uh, and once you have that mindset then then obviously you get a response back uh, we have also seen developers now you know so there is a huge gap you know if you're also referring to them in a way you know the ones who have done really well are the ones who are very flexible adopted well mm. and the ones who had equal opportunities but were not able to grow in the in the market were the ones who were very rigid you know they were not probably looking for the best practices mm. and and they realized it very fast and now we could see it dramatically changing you know it's not just about those top 4 or 5 developers who are embracing the technology mm. now we see uh, the long tail of probably top 30 40 50 developers mm. who want to operate in a very very similar way mm. the way you see top 5 operate so there is huge opportunity for so we also probably align our technology with them mm. along with uh, how the agents work like that. Okay. do you want to add anything on this okay no uh, basically this uh, you know it's a broker aggregation uh, thing which is happening so what i think is in the future in the next coming few years so anyhow you know this thing is bound to happen wherein the small brokers and everything will combine mm. and uh, work with you know two or three big players the reason because it is saying as of now there you know there is no brand in the brokerage industry and that is the reason why very it is it comes very easy for any individual to enter into this business because anyhow you know aaj ke time pe still 70% of the business is being done where uh, channel partners or anybody else is representing builder mm. they are not telling the customers that who we are mm. but once you know big brands will come up in the industry you know like we have seen in the travel industry like who are you make my trip and everything mm. so if this few big companies will come in this industry then anyhow people the customers or the home buyers will stop going to those local players because they only want to deal with the you know brand because they will provide add on services to them so and if they will not get if the, if the home buyers if the customers don't go to those uh, you know small uh, individual brokers so anyhow they have to you know tie up with the big players because the main constraint with the big players is the you know is the manpower mm-hmm. if i am if i want to operate in the entire india so i cannot uh, go in the way ki mai sabko hire karta hu so it is not possible for me so anyhow i need an extended team of you know players who will work on behalf of my company so definitely this is the uh, you know future in the coming next few years wherein small players will work for the big players and uh, that like mr ashish has said ki there, there is a good company like my magnet where lots of brokers are already involved so we already hamara ek apna alag plan hai wherein we want to aggregate the brokers but in a different manner with which we are working we have we have you know very small when it comes to the uh, multiple uh, local players working for us but definitely yes this is the future which i think so when you say on behalf of your uh, few people you know work so are you saying are you outsourcing the work or are you outsourcing it to the other local brokers like what no. i did not get the hamare uh, behalf mein baaki log kaam karte hain ya hum kisi bhi mein se what uh, behalf ki baat uh, uh, maine bola there are two things hmm. the first thing is that there is no brand in the brokerage industry because of which abhi koi bhi player individual player are able to sustain themselves yeah but once there are big brands in this brokerage industry wherein tab jo customers hain hmm. they will directly go with those big brands 90% yeah. of them will go with big brand because hmm. they will provide add on services to them. and at that moment these small players individual players ke paas agar customers hi nahi honge because this is the fuel mm-hmm. without fuel you cannot drive the car to agar aapke paas customers nahi ho willing to buy the property you mm-hmm. cannot do anything mm-hmm. so then they will get in touch with the big players wherein jo big players hain big players ki problem ye rahegi whoever it may be in the coming few years ki they there will be a manpower issue because it is so offline is still offline mm-hmm. because aap jitna bhi digitalize kar le you need an offline army to cater to those customers mm-hmm. 
तो वो ऑफलाइन आर्मी इंस्टेड ऑफ हायरिंग देयर ओन टीम इट इज बेटर कि वी हैव सम यू नो वेरी एक्सपीरियंस पूल ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स हु आर एक्सपर्टीज इन देयर इंडिविजुअल लोकेशंस तो वो हमारे साथ कनेक्ट करेंगे एंड दे विल वर्क ऑन दे आर दे विल वर्क एज अ यू नो एज अ एबीसी ब्रांड दैट इज अ बिग प्लेयर ब्रांड दैट्स व्हाट आई वाज सेइंग so your offline army ki jab baat kare ankit i want to know from you and even ashish i've uh, seen in market especially in indian real estate market jab uh, baat aati hai uh, dhande ki uh, builders or promoters are like ki tech mein negotiation hamesha hota hai hmm. but when it comes ki unko pata hai ki you know channel partner se mujhe itne unit bikwane and all of that they won't negotiate on that factor keeping in mind ki ye to dega ek certain percentage mein aayegi but when it comes to technology why there is negotiation because that is also adding and helping the promoter only na in terms of generating leads in terms of getting the right customer to that sales office so what is your take on that and how you guys handle that kind of conversation then negotiation hota you can't disagree on that na yeah no no that's true <laughs> india chalta hai nahi hota so i think uh, my my perspective here is that see every developer If you're referring towards that, you know, has a different business model, so it looks very similar. Mm. You know, for us as a layman, we would say that you know, you know, it's about buying or doing a JV, and then you know, getting started with the project and yeah. get worried about how to market it, how quickly to uh, sell it, and then you know, and then probably manage uh, manage your books accordingly. Just as a layman, I would yeah. say, but that's not the case. You know, every developer has a different mindset, different pedigree. You know, uh, they uh, it's a bit of a longish answer, but I'll try to give a perspective. So, some of them would like to reach a scale and not focus on profitability, while others would like to only be a profitable player and want to be you know not uh, very aggressive in expanding the businesses. Some of them are extremely worried about uh, brands and how do they leverage that. Mm-hmm. some of them uh, are are extremely cautious about the quality they deliver and while others are not so on so forth right you know just uh, say for example bombay mein bolte hain ki hum building ke paas ya to track hoga ya highway hoga ya nala hoga yeah. like yeah. but still some of the developers can cut through this problem and create value out there mm-hmm. i'll not take names so their business model pushes them not to take technology seriously because maybe i'm mm-hmm. just i'm just probably thinking aloud with you that you know it it doesn't impact their their value chain so to speak but for some of them the way they have modeled their business or they have planned their business for next let's say a decade a uh, lot of developers who are doing well they are very sure of what they're headed towards you know uh, they know what's their uh, Next benchmark. So somebody who's doing probably ten, twelve thousand sales is having a lot of clarity towards twenty-five thousand. It's not that they don't know. True. You know, so they know that how much technology they need. How you know, because to do twenty-five thousand, obviously they will have to uh, relook at the whole uh, uh, you know internal ecosystem and, yeah. and see to it how will it expand. And and to make they must be already working on technology to do twenty-five thousand calls. So they will not. Rather, they I have huge, heard some huge uh, bills of technology when it comes to some of the developers. You know, they have been spending a lot. Yeah. So I think it's to everyone in terms of what, where you position yourself on the landscape of, mm. of the Indian real estate ecosystem. True. Yeah. The same is with players like us also. You will always see like that, and some of them are they don't want Nokia moment in their life. That you know, and some of them. Are so happy with what they are doing. You know, mm. they are. Uh, they are. They may be laughing at us. You know, you. I hear so many times that you know after even a 2000 crore ka business kar lete hain, fir bhi aap aise karte hain, aise karte hain because you know it doesn't matter to them. For them, it's 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 you know it's a different market, different domain. People like us are trying to you know just to add on to what Ankit said. Uh, I completely agree with it that you know India is still not seeing its consumer broking brands. You know fundamentally, mm. you know these are large structured businesses globally. Uh, I was telling you just outside also that you know some of them are like thirty, forty percent market share, you know, and and they do a great job of it. You know, and 
and uh, you if you deal with a certain brokerage in these markets you expect a certain quality i see no reason if uh, if our indian consumer is becoming quality conscious about every single thing uh, and the generation which is buying right now of course they are extremely uh, demanding in terms of what quality they get from the broker services yeah. and i think that's the space which some of us should fill so artificial intelligence and machine learning is being adopted by other industries where do you feel in real estate uh, from the call center point of view to marketing these changes will we see uh, happening especially now we have spoken like some ke matlab branded developers must be having a certain strategy but according to you overall ecosystem mein where we see ai and machine learning in real estate so uh AI and machine learning see words so aise hain you know now agar aap puchoge to everyone is saying ki i am using this ai and machine learning but agar practically agar you know when it comes to developer ka to theek hai they are using it but if i tell you about our company and how we operate so abhi us level pe nahi hai we are not in that level where we can see ki humne sari cheeze streamline kar liye and we are using ai and machine learning but kya hai ki anyhow we have to use it because see if you are catering कस्टमर्स ऑन मंथली बेसिस तब आपको जरूरत नहीं है आप जैसे ही पचास सौ डेढ़ सौ कस्टमर्स तक आप पहुंचते हो या दो सौ कस्टमर्स तक आप पहुंचते हो तब आपको ये सारी चीजों की रिक्वायरमेंट रहती है बिकॉज सी मशीन लर्निंग अगर मैं अपनी कंपनी के बारे में बताऊँ तो हमको कैसे यूज हुआ सी वी हैव टू नो कि आज अगर हम मार्केटिंग कर रहे हैं मल्टीपल चैनल से मार्केटिंग करें तो कौन सा चैनल हमको रिजल्ट ज्यादा लेके आ रहा है कौन से चैनल से हमारे विजिट ज्यादा हो रहे हैं कौन से चैनल से हमारी बुकिंग ज्यादा हो रही है तो ये मैनुअली नहीं हो सकता कि हमारे टीम से डेली पूछे तो यहाँ पर वो चीज यूज आती है देन उसके बाद यू नो ऑटोमेटिकली लाइक सेट कि हमने अभी काम करके रखा हुआ है ये अब और टेन थाउजेंड डेटा बेस की है अब देर अ न्यू लॉन्च विच कम्स अप अब जिसमें रिक्वायरमेंट है कि लेट सपोज वन बी एच के इज इन सिक्सटी सेवेंटी लाख रुपीज सो नो इफ यू हैव अ टेक्नोलॉजी मशीन लर्निंग एन ए आई इन प्लेस सो ऑटोमेटिकली वो हमारे उस डेटा बेस से दे विल फिल्टर आउट एवरी थिंग की बाई दीज आर द प्रोस्पेक्ट वन थाउजेंड कस्टमर्स जो कि अभी यू नो बिकॉज बस उस मशीन लर्निंग को यूज करने के लिए डेटा होना चाहिए हमारे पास उतना सेग्रीगेटेड डेटा होना चाहिए कि हमने उसमें सब कुछ लिख के रखा हुआ है कि भाई ये कस्टमर की दिस दिस रिक्वायरमेंट ये देख रहा था ही इज विलिंग टू बाय प्रॉपर्टी इन नेक्स्ट सिक्स मंथ्स और सेवन मंथ्स देन ओनली मशीन लर्निंग विल विल बी एबल टू डू एनी सो उसके लिए फॉर अस इट विल टेक सम टाइम बिकॉज बट हमको प्लानिंग पहले से करनी पड़ेगी कि अगर हम डेटा उस तरीके से स्टोर नहीं करेंगे तब तक वो कुछ ए आई एंड एवरीथिंग विल नॉट बी एबल टू डू एनी थिंग बट डेफिनेटली इन जब एज अनो इन आर एक्स एन एरियो इफ इट इज इतनी ज्यादा रिक्वायरमेंट है तो बिल्डर्स के लिए तो बहुत ज्यादा रिक्वायरमेंट है कि आजकल क्या ट्रेंड चल रहा है वॉट कस्टमर्स आर नो उनको किस तरीके की चीजें चाहिए बिकॉज दे आर इन्वेस्टिंग ह्यूज अमाउंट आज वन थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड रोड के प्रोजेक्ट्स वो लोग लॉन्च कर रहे हैं तो डेफिनेटली दिस ए आई एंड मशीन एज अ वेरी बिग रोल टू प्ले बट फॉर दैट हमको पहले से वर्किंग करनी पड़ेगी सो दैट जब हम इसको यूज करें तो उनके पास वो डेटा हो जिससे कि दे विल बी एबल टू दिस टेक्नोलॉजी विल हेल्प अस टू गेट द रिजल्ट्स दिस इज व्हाट आई एम सेइंग नो आई थिंक आई मीन प्रॉब्ली ऑन द सेम लाइंस आई वुड से दैट यू नो इफ एट ऑल एनी दिस एनी सेक्टर नीड्स एआई एमएल इन टू सेंस द रियल एस्टेट हैज टू बी वन ऑफ देम बिकॉज़ वन इट्स अ ह्यूज सेक्टर इट्स अ ह्यूज अपॉर्चुनिटी the kind of mind blowing numbers we are hearing in terms of the size this sector can be in by 2030 yeah you know and uh, so goes without saying that ai will will play a very critical role on on every part of this business you know if again to make it simple for for people who who are hearing and watching us probably you know it's it's we do a job of filter you know it's a, it's a, it's a filtration process which we do in a way on top of funnel we get data and then we you know make sense of it you know fundamentally that's yeah. what, that's the business we are in uh, so i think uh, ai ml can play a role at probably every part of the filter and you know it's it's when it comes to the top of the filter what i can mention in terms of how do we reach out to reach out to right audience and and you know and also what matters to them you know there is a issue of data availability not only what data is available with us internally that's that's not any which is going to help that's not a big data but we need more and more structured data in this country for us to have ai and will really sit on top of what value it can generate and i think that's a issue which india is dealing i think if if one reason that we are few years behind let's say you know i keep telling that uh, our 
ब्रोकरेज मार्केट इज कम्पेरेबल टू ओनली बांग्लादेश पाकिस्तान और श्रीलंका अदरवाइज एवरी अदर इकोनॉमी इवन द साउथ ईस्ट एशियन स्मॉलर इकोनॉमीज आर मच अहेड ऑफ आर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ द वे द होल ट्रांजेक्शन ब्रोकरेज स्पेस वर्क दे आर डिफरेंट जो डिफरेंट फेजेस बट दे आर स्टिल अहेड ऑफ आर्स so i think the big issue is one that the way data gets captured here and the way it's it's available you know and we know that in you know, our there is no standardization of data so unless that happens uh, it it's going to be difficult but still uh, we do get multiple products which we plug into our systems and and see to it that how we make use of this data and, and eventually when i said that it's about people how do we also look into data about them and sort of tell them that where they are missing the point and you know how they can uh, increase their productivity and so so on and so forth so i think yeah, i think ai ml is going to be uh, it's inevitable that it's going to be touching every part of our you know our process true so ashish as we were talking about data i wanted to uh, know like there are a lot of prop tech companies now entering in india also when it comes to data analytics and location intelligence cri metrics prop stack prop equity so they have uh, said one thing common when it comes to data of course data is gold but how to utilize it and how to use it in a manner to scale your business very few are able to implement that yeah in comparison to your global market players so when it comes to data analytics and location intelligence how are you implementing that in your business and uh, which company or is it like a in house thing uh, which you have created when it comes to this gold data yeah so we started making sense of it so far you know we like what ankit also told we just started sort of understanding that uh, if we have to uh, profile the customer right because i think that's a that that is of immense value in, at this point of time in india you know know me as a consumer you know what am i you know what is my profile you know and and it's there in the data you know i'm just and again again i repeat it's basics what i'm talking to you about right right mm-hmm. now you know uh, so many times it happens and especially in property when you get the customer lead and you know the profile is totally different from what you are trying to advise the customer and you know whatever you can and like we all know that there is that's when you know they they start getting bad experience as a consumer from the broker services so for us if you ask me the first thing which we want to do about data is to understand how do we profile the customer better and we have been talking about it for long long time we're doing our experiments and stuff like that similarly you know if i go ahead in that front mm. uh like i said that you know what is the packing order of our advisors learning what you you know what things you know we can't expect a, a blockbuster advisor in the day Uh, in first few months you know we need to see that you know how 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 does the journey go well for them and we will invest a lot in that you know and we do make sure that that if they are part of our fold uh, they should grow much much better and uh, than any other uh, place in the market the reason that we want to invest on that so there also we want to use lot of data and understand that you know so i think that's where it is and and if you again go back to the funnel in terms of what markets we choose what projects we choose you know how much numbers we should though it sounds more like a finance domain it sounds more like a business planning mm. uh, business projection but i think it needs a lot of data to understand as well so i think these are three core areas when it comes to our line of business at this point of time where uh, getting more deeper into data is required so have you collaborated with any top tech company we doing it in the we have a data science uh, nice okay so uh, i am fortunate to have a very good cto that is neha she has got a huge experience of around 15 years plus so she is taking care of the entire uh, tech part of housing mm-hmm. so as you mentioned the, the company name so these are the data companies it's their core if you, you know expertise ki wo us data ko filter kare and that is what they are doing for and that is what they are paying they are getting paid for in our scenarios ye jo part hai this is one of the part of our business जिसको हम करेंगे तो हमारा बिजनेस और ग्रो करेगा सो यस एवरीथिंग इज डन इन हाउस वी आर नॉट कोलैबोरेटिंग विद एनी आउटसाइड कंपनीज सो आई हैव सीटीओ इन प्लेस सो शी इज टेकिंग केयर ऑफ एवरीथिंग एंड दिस होल अभी जैसे मैंने पहले ही बताया कि वी आर इन अ वेरी नीशियल स्टेजेस वेयर एंड वी आर प्लानिंग कि भाई किस तरीके से हमको आगे लेके जाना एनी ऑफ वी जितना अच्छा वो लोग करते हैं द वे दे आर डूइंग द एनालाइजिंग ऑफ द डेटा वी आर नॉट एट दैट स्टेज बिकॉज़ 
they are expert in that that is the reason they have created those kind of companies but yes we have started our journey and everything is in house and abhi tak to humne kisi bahar se kaam nahi karwaya kisi se so there are a lot of top tech companies and especially in broking industry we have seen in india there is announcement of metaverse there is announcement of blockchain uh, technology cryptocurrency of course has not entered yet in the indian real estate domain but the claims are that the future of indian real estate when it comes to transactions when it comes to investment the future will be through metaverse do you think the physical touch point will slowly uh, be the substitute ki hum metaverse mein dekhe and maine ghar khareed liya i get it covid mein ye chala tha ki aapne ek vr ke through apna ek unit book kar diya but do you think metaverse and all of this technology blockchain will change the how physical transaction used to happen no metaverse and uh, blockchain jo aap bol rahi hai so basically abhi ho kya raha hai ki we are moving from a to c hmm. and hum b ko bhul gaye so what we believe is ki property ghar baith ke ghar khareedna that's what you are saying ki bhai aap ghar baithe hain apna ghar aap online khareedte hain so this is not the requirement of the customer wo chahte hi nahi ki wo ghar baith ke ghar khareed सबसे पहली बात तुमको ये समझना पड़ेगा इफ यू आर फोर्सिंग हिम कि भाई हम आपको मेटावर्स दे देंगे एवरीथिंग वी विल प्रोवाइड यू सो आप घर बैठ के घर खरीदो इस स्टिल ही और शी वांट्स कि मैं एक बार देखूं द फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एज अ हाउसिंग व्हाट वी बिलीव इज डेफिनेटली इन द फ्यूचर मेटावर्स हैज अ वेरी बिग रोल टू प्ले वो प्ले करेगा बट एज ऑफ नाउ इन मेटावर्स वी आर शोकेसिंग द वर्चुअल टूर एंड एवरीथिंग सारी चीजें वर्चुअली उससे बढ़िया आज अगर आप कस्टमर को ये बता दो कि ये जो प्रोजेक्ट है इसकी इतनी नैरो रोड पे है या यहां पर स्लम है इसका सैंपल फ्लैट ऐसे दिखता है ये सारी चीजें कस्टमर्स के लिए ज्यादा रिक्वायरमेंट हो पाएगी इंस्टेड ऑफ कि अगर हम उनको मेटावर्स की पूरी टेक्नोलॉजी बता दें यू नो एंड फिर उसको इंडल्स कर दें तो फर्स्ट मेरे हिसाब से व्हाट वी फील एज अ हाउसी की फर्स्ट वी हैव टू मेटावर्स इज द प्रिविलेज टू द कस्टमर इंस्टेड गिविंग टू द गिविंग द प्रिविलेज टू द कस्टमर फर्स्ट गिव देम द बेसिक राइट्स सो बेसिक राइट्स क्या है एक होम बाय एक होम बाय द बेसिक राइट ये है कि जब वो घर से निकले या प्रॉपर्टी देखने निकले तो जो भी प्रॉपर्टी वो देखने जा रहा है उसके उसको उसके बारे में एग्जैक्ट लोकेशन पता हो एंड उसका एम्बियंस पता हो कि लोकेशन है कैसे सेकंड थिंग उसको पता हो कि सारी ऑल इंक्लूसिव प्राइसिंग क्या होगी व्हाट कितना मेरे हाउ मच डाउन पेमेंट आई हैव टू पे व्हाट विल माय ईएमआई और प्री ईएमआई सैंपल फ्लैट कैसे दिखता है दीस आर द बेसिक थिंग्स व्हिच अ कस्टमर शुड नो बिफोर ही और शी इज गोइंग फिजिकली टू विजिट द साइट सो व्हाट आई फील इज कि फर्स्ट वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड दीस बेसिक राइट्स टू द कस्टमर जब उनको ये सारी चीजें मिल जाए एंड दे आर हैबिचुअल बिकॉज अभी यही नहीं मिल रहा हूं जब उनको ये सारी चीजें मिल जाए देन वी कैन मूव ऑन टू मेटावर्स और एनीथिंग ब्लॉकचेन एंड क्रिप्टो करेंसी एंड एवरीथिंग हम उसमें तब जा सकते तो एज ऑफ नाउ कस्टमर्स को अगर आप दे देंगे कि फिर उनसे कि दिस इज अ मेटावर्स एक्सेप्शनली वेल एंड यू बुक आप यहीं से बैठ के बुक कर लो सो आई डोंट थिंक सो कि ही विल बी मोर हैप्पी कि नहीं भाई मेरे को ये चीजें आई विल बुक इट नाउ यस देयर आर कस्टमर्स एज ऑफ नाउ हमारे भी बहुत सारे मोबाइल्स हैं वो आर एनआरआईज who are out stations they have bought property even without visiting the property but it doesn't mean ki you know uh, i think ki metaverse is a little advanced stage first let's give them the current basic uh, you know in the heat of the moment jo requirement hai unki wo hum unko provide kare and then uske baad once they are habitual we are providing everything to them then they are metaverse ke bare mein ja sakte hain definitely that is a future transaction honge we don't know that but as of now we have to touch complete the b part and then we can move on to c that is what i think but when it comes to home buyers uh, ashish how on kita said there are types of home buyers right ek home buyer ye hota hai uska aspiration hai maine itna save karke rakha hai i will buy a home ek home buyer aapka hai jisko luxury housing ka nahi maybe for them it's not important ki mera ambiance kya hai can be investment purpose mm-hmm. also your nri investment purpose not necessary aas paas kya hai so technology wise metaverse ka jo itna bhi uh, i won't say halla ho raha hai but talks are happening do you think this future will uh, head into it or home buyer ke upar hai ya aapke uh, basis on what are you selling uske upar hai because jo 60 lakh ka ghar khareedega in comparison to 8 crore ka khareedega to difference i'm sure hoga because jo 8 crore ka khareedega maybe he can go for metaverse but for 60 lakh that person is that aspiration you know i want to go and Take my family, show that area and everything. Yeah, yeah. So, how would this uh, technology play? What is your, uh, you know, take on this? I mean, lighter note, maybe some, some developers want to, want to, not that metaverse is going to start. 
अदरवाइज सब दिखने लगेगा कि पीछे क्या है आगे क्या सो हैविंग सेड दैट सी आई थिंक इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड द ट्रेंड नो वेयर द ट्रेंड इज यू नो मेकिंग इफ आई टू जस्ट टू ऐड ऑन अगेन मेकिंग टू मेनी प्रेडिक्शंस वुड बी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज बट यू हैव टू वॉच आउट ट्रेंड इन ऑन रिपीटिंग दैट सो we have not seen as such any trends where in customers are you know uh, uh, asking for it let's say that you know that you know do we have any such services or maybe you know which but eventually i think it will i i absolutely agree with it that you know if there is uh, the right technology available and and it makes the the research part easy for me and and the, you know so why would i would not explore it Similarly, blockchain, right? Uh, now it seems that some part is is uh, sort of a luxury, as it sounds, metaverse, and something is necessity right now. Yeah. But something like blockchain is need of this country. You know, it's like such a bad state. A ki ghar lene ke liye, mujhe A ki registration office mein three three baar jana hota hai. So you know, uh, it's pain. You know, so uh, and if you probably Ask anyone in US, maybe you just spoke about your learnings there as well. You know, a room, a table, a whole transaction is done on that. And fundamentally, some of these Western countries are still not as tech adopters like us. By the way, mm. you know, we are our pace of adoption is faster. So I think it has to come from government and a lot of other, uh, I would say, authorities that something like blockchain should come. You know, We heard about it in Dubai. You know, things happen in Dubai. You don't have to really do any documentation for that. There's no documentation. Okay. If there's zero paper involved, you have to just go. You know, just authorize something online, and you know, send some mails out, and it's done. It's all sort of a you know that kind. Now blockchain has to go more deeper. It will make even more easier in markets like this. So I think uh, uh, it should happen. But some of the trends will over a period of time come. I think we are uh, metaverse. They should come, but we are not seeing any major visible trends. So I want to know, Ashish, and even Ankit. Uh, in global market, we have seen the secondary market to be very huge, and in terms of even the commission is quite like six percent. India may correct me if I'm wrong. It's around two or two point five percent, right? So when it comes to secondary market, why Homeswai and Housey is not Capturing this market or even the rental market, I understand the uh, difference. Of course, for our audience also to understand the differences, of course, on the unit wise or the bulk wise and everything. But India, me, abhi bhi, hamara secondary market me, the company com- companies like you, are, why we are not able to capture it? There are two things to this. One is that you know, the primary, though both are equally big markets, to in terms of opportunity. I may not have right numbers to give you that you know which is what size market, so to speak. But they are fairly big. Uh, but primary is is definitely going uh, as a large opportunity mm-hmm. and needs more and more structured approach. You know, sorry, not need need is in secondary, but has already a structured approach to it. Yeah. So uh, so that's about it. I think there's there's not too much of rocket science here. Just that businesses. uh the brokerages you know find it easy to you know get started with primary and and and, and but I, i i think i've told this in my other interactions as well that i don't think that reasonable meaningful brokerages will take too much time to get into secondary they will and uh, they will start creating impact there as well with help of their ecosystem the technology you know whatever you want to call it you know in, in terms of their uh in terms of their human and tech capital So I think that way uh, we are uh, quite excited about it and already uh, working on it. Okay, so this is the first time you're announcing it. Are you going to get into the rental or the secondary market? It's, you, it's sort of like that only. I mean, you've, you've got me on it. <laughs> we are announcing it. Great. So uh, it's not like that. That we are not in. We are. The reason why we are into primary market as of now. That basically, any bit transaction, there are two people. One buyer, one seller. So buyer is same, but in the primary market, no secondary, they are individuals. But in primary market, the seller is organized by default, wherein it's a builder, wherein everything is in system, 
पेमेंट्स आर इन सिस्टम एंड प्रोसेस इज स्ट्रीमलाइन वेर इन जो सेकेंडरी मार्केट में होता है वो जो सेलर है डेट इज ऑल्सो एन इंडिविजुअल तो बहुत ही ज्यादा वो ऑफलाइन सेंट्रिक हो जाता है एंड इट इज अ वेरी लोकेशन स्पेसिफिक काइंड ऑफ थिंग वेर इन जिस कस्टमर को अगर प्राइम सेकेंडरी में चाहिए रीसेल में चाहिए तो दे विल लुक इन टू 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 थ्री किलोमीटर्स और फोर किलोमीटर्स रेंज की प्रोजेक्ट में लोकेशन में उसको चाहिए होगा मेन द फर्स्ट थिंग इज की you know the seller is not that much organized in when it comes to secondary market because mm-hmm. it is an individual entity and second thing kya hai ki you know just like swiggy has started the delivery part also mm-hmm. and dunzo is only doing the delivery part so it is just about ki what we want to do so as of now howzy we want to be in the primary market and grow and to be a leader in this primary market and then definitely we will see in the future what we want to do in the secondary or not but we just want to create a niche in the primary market about howzy कि नहीं हमको प्राइमरी मार्केट में डील करना है एंड वी विल बी इन द प्राइमरी मार्केट एंड विल प्रोवाइड बेस्ट सर्विस टू द होम बायर्स इन द प्राइमरी मार्केट एंड वंस वी आर सेटिस्फाइड विद एवरीथिंग व्हिच वी आर डूइंग इन दिस रीजन देन वी विल लुक आफ्टर कि भाई सेकेंडरी में हमको जाना है कि नहीं जाना है दिस इज व्हाट तो अंकित मुझे ये पूछना है आपसे क्योंकि दिस इज फॉर माय अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड फॉर द ऑडियंस वेरी लेमैन क्वेश्चन इट माइट साउंड टू यू बट आई वांट टू नो प्राइमरी में तो काफी प्लेयर्स हैं राइट secondary man i'm seeing only no poker is there as such who is actually there uh, active and capturing that market then why so many players are we seeing in uh, primary but not in secondary matlab secondary mein aisa kya hai i get it individual sellers ka are unorganized hai but i feel where especially broking companies jo aa rahi hai primary mein jo itni sari aa rahi hai aap log ke paas data hai aap ke paas acha tech hai why we are not able to capture and i feel the bigger companies which are there in primary they can easily capture secondary market correct me if i am wrong i am not from this field but make me understand what is happening here nik you are 100% correct ki primary market jo jo primary mein kaam kar raha hai they can easily go to the secondary because already hamare paas data bhi hai because those who buy jinko humne 2 saal pehle sell kiya tha they are now in the secondary market now because unko position mil gaya they want to sell it out to wo cheez hamare liye issue nahi hai and it This is also not hundred percent correct. कि सिर्फ no broker है. The reason in secondary market they are very good players. But जैसे मैंने आपको बताया कि it's a location specific kind of business. Wherein कि जो primary में आज local broker भी है ना वो Bombay की बात करूँ तो अंधेरी से लेकर पूरी पूरी तक they he is doing business. But secondary में जो local player है वो अंधेरी में ही एक छोटे से region में काम कर रहा है. And there are multiple small entities जो कि दो दो तीन तीन किलोमीटर की range में काम कर रहे हैं. That is the major issue with the hot ki jada unit economics bahut jada hai mm. and players bahut hai secondary market mein and they are very good players in secondary market but ye hai ki yahan wo apne bade level pe nahi that is the reason we are not able to see them but agar aap calculate karoge ki primary or secondary market mein to i am not 100% mere ko pura knowledge nahi hai iska but they are there will be a even plus one brokers hi honge ya partners honge jo ki secondary mein kaam kare with respect to you know प्राइमरी प्राइमरी में जस्ट दिखता है क्योंकि दे आर बिग प्लेस सो दिस इज क्योंकि सेकेंडरी में जो मुझे लगता है आशीष आप ही अपना घर मुझे अगर मिला है एंड उसी से मुझे बाकी सर्विस मिलती है मैं पेंट करा रही हूँ रिपेयर करा रही हूँ फॉर मी दैट बिकम्स लाइक अ गो टू प्लेस वेन एवर आई एम बाइंग हाउस दैट रिकॉर्ड वैल्यू ऑफ दैट ब्रांड कीप्स है so isn't that a very uh, good way to even monetize or even capture the market yeah no i think it's it's right that you know it's about are you a platform or are you a service provider in a transaction i i think there are two different domains you know so uh, as of now if we talk to you we we won't talk to you as a platform you know uh, those are platforms and uh, and yeah i think so over a period of time you know uh, how do you make sense to a consumer in terms of uh, the quality and and the timeliness of things is is what matters you know so uh, so that way i think when we it's it's a it's a order right when we get into secondary and you know explore that market uh, we also want to make sure that you know uh, we we retain that customer so sure. that to happen we will have to get on to other areas as well uh, like what ankit also said again you know it's uh, to get the seller leaders what matters you know, to again let me educate the audience so it's, it's it's about getting the seller lead you know that's the whole game out there yeah uh, to get the seller lead you know you 
need to uh, uh, be present in that market with a certain authority and with the certain service levels, which is a problem which actually, if you ask me, uh, nobody's solving it, so to speak, you know, and at a size, at a size, at a scale. Uh, and I think it needs, uh, it, good things take time. You know, you will have to stay invested in that piece and, you know, and, and, and it will need capital, you mm-hmm. know, for that to, you know, sustain over a period of time. So I think, yeah, uh, like I said, you know, uh, it's it's inevitable. I am not of that school of thought that primary careers will not get into secondary and will take a lot of time. So because primary is equally attractive market, not equally, is a big attractive market. I think sooner or later they, they will get into that market and try to structure it if they have that kind of a human and tech capital. So why I was asking this question on the primary and secondary front, in this, uh, you know, ever revolving and rapid uh, technology landscape, we are seeing a lot of companies are taking unfair advantage of it or even dominating the market. How we are seeing the sectors be in fintech, edtech, or even your e-commerce. Do you see in real estate market, especially in this broking industry, the monopoly game will enter? So, you know, for monopoly, there should be a one uh, big player which is very big with respect to the other players. Mm-hmm. So as of now, in this primary market, I don't think ki there will be a monopoly, but definitely in the coming next two to three years, or th- yeah, two to three years, there will be at least four to five big brands. And these four to five big players will, you know, hold a good share of uh, uh, in this primary market. So I don't think so ki monopoly will be there because agar teen se char ya char paanch Players have to monopoly to hogi because these four to five players will keep on you know competing with each yeah. other, so they will come up with new things and everything. So monopoly mere ko nahi lagta hai ki it will be in this primary market uh, monopoly hoga, but there will be four to five big players who will be dominating the market. What's your take on that? I also agree. You know, I think it's a very local business, so to speak, any which way. You know, uh, just like not even like food, food changes every probably hundred miles. Yeah. You know, property changes every two miles. You know, so very difficult to cut through, you know, you know, the regions, the, the requirements, the customer profiles, you know, and uh, I, it's difficult to make such predictions any which way, but I, I don't think that it's, it's because of the nature which I just mentioned to you, this business, it's very difficult that you will be able to provide solution as one player across those markets, mm-hmm. you know, so yeah, I don't think that's a possibility. So there are few players who are opening other wo channel partner hai, so they are providing other vertical of services as well, be data, be uh, PR or be your services like painting and everything which even no broker provides. So they are providing a plethora of services options to even a promoter level or to even a seller level. So do you think such companies will gain a lot of traction and will become bigger in coming years? Ki do teen companies hai, Jinsay mera consumer ka bhi pura service, you know, tackle ho sakta hai in terms of means selling. Mandate agar diya hai, to mera pura business se leke creative wise inke through sell ho sakta hai. And those become like a huge, like how we have group M companies for every uh, industry ke saap se ho banate advertising. So do we see that kind of company coming in, in real estate? So, so fundamentally you're saying that, you know, a platform which can probably capture 10 different industries, you know, because even if you just pick up, say, paint, you know, it's an industry, mm. you know, and I don't think that uh, possible to sort of have a full industry coming into your fold. Think like that, you know, mm. so it's, it's uh, you know, so yes, you may want to problem, you may want to fit your business model in a way that you get most out of the customer, but at this point of time, they're not getting out of the customer, they are giving away to the customer as it it has been seen in some of the some of such platforms. So uh, and uh, yeah, I think unless there is a big value add, which is you know you're just sort of changing the formula completely in terms of what customer gets out of that dollar. Mm-hmm. Is that when you create that value? But I I don't see that if I have got a question right, I don't see that there will be one player who can sort of absorb all these three industries like interiors and paintings or this and that and you know sort of say that you know I'm going to sort of uh, get most of yeah, the market share yeah. because yeah. I am oh, it sounds like a good model can be executed mm. but cannot be 
of that scale uh, so easily. So, uh, uh, you know, providing the add-on services is always beneficial for the you know customers uh, side, and it is always beneficial for us also because we will generate good revenue out of yeah. it. But first, we have to look it down that our business is. उसमें किस टाइप के एडवांस सर्विसेज लगे लाइक यू हैव सेड प्रिंटिंग एंड पैकर्स एंड ओवर सो सिंस वी आर इनटू प्राइमरी मार्केट एनी ऑफ क्लाइंट्स इज नॉट गेटिंग पोजीशन इन द टाइम ऑफ यू नो एट लीस्ट इन द नेक्स्ट 3 टू 6 मंथ्स दे आर नॉट गेटिंग द पोजीशन सो प्रिंटिंग एंड द पैकर्स एंड ओवर्स एंड ऑल दीस काइंड ऑफ सर्विसेज आर नॉट इमीडिएटली रिक्वायर्ड टू देम सो इट डजंट मेक मच डिफरेंस सो लेट्स सपोज ए एंड बी दे आर टू कंपनीज व्हेन इज सेइंग कि भाई आई विल प्रोवाइड यू द पैकर्स एंड ओवर सर्विस Mm-hmm. And B is now providing the best service to the customer when it comes to the home buying experience. Mm-hmm. So definitely, customer will go to B because packers and movers, painting and all these types of you know services is not required during the interaction or during the decision time of the customers. Mm-hmm. Wherein in the secondary market, definitely it will play a very huge role. Wherein if you are providing any add-on services to the customer, so it is an advantage. Mm-hmm. But we have to look out for कि यहाँ पे what are the services which you can provide. इन आर डोमेन ऑफ इंडस्ट्री इन इन आर कस्टमर रिक्वायरमेंट कि अभी क्या चाहिए उसको तो अगर उसके हिसाब से इफ यू विल प्रोवाइड फ्यू सर्विसेज डेफिनेटली एक एड ऑन एडवांटेज रहेगा विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अदर कॉम्पिटिटर्स बट वी हैव टू लुक एट कि क्या प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं व्हाट इज द सर्विस व्हिच वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग नो ट्रू व्हाई आई आस्क दैट क्वेश्चन वाज बिकॉज़ आई एम नोटिसिंग अ बिट ऑफ ट्रेंड व्हेन देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ कैपिटल इनफ्लो हैपनिंग इन प्रॉपर्टी कंपनीज आई एम नोटिसिंग द स्मॉलर प्रॉपर्टी कंपनीज आर गेटिंग easily absorbed by the bigger players ya to stake le liya ya unko khareed liya ya acquisition ho gaya to usse kya ho raha hai of course there there are many vertical services aa rahe hain but usse a uh, lot of uh, smaller players of property companies are getting dissolved in this bigger player uh, business domain so will we see this trend happening or maybe i'm looking at very far fetched way ki ek do ke sath hua hai sab nahi karne wale type this industry jisme hum log hain to usme to vcs utne hain and the reason why they are not in because you know they look for a company wherein uh, if because we had few interactions so the questions which arises ki bhai you are profitable then why you don't why you need money hmm. so unko ye chahiye ki bhai agar aap profitable hain to you have to show ki bhai aap itna paisa kahin use karo hmm. and if we are getting funding from any vcs so fir if they are giving us 20 40 or crores whatever it may be so We are forced to start multiple verticals where वो पैसा यूज हो बिकॉज जो बिजनेस हम कर रहे हैं उसमें तो हम रेवेन्यू जनरेट कर ही रहे जनरेटिंग रेवेन्यू वी आर जनरेटिंग प्रॉफिट देन उनके लिए वो चीज फिजिबल नहीं है बिकॉज फिर हम नेक्स्ट राउंड में या फिर हम उठाएंगे क्यों जब हम प्रॉफिटेबल हैं तो सो वी सी दैट इज आई थिंक ये मेरा एक्सपीरियंस है आई माइट भी रॉन्ग कि दैट इज अ रीजन वाई इन दिस इंडस्ट्री पीपल आर नॉट गेटिंग वी सी फंडिंग बिकॉज सब even a small individual or a big player apart from few are profitable and for them the basic criteria is that ki yes even though you are profitable but where you will utilize this big chunk of money and that to in the span of 15 to 18 maximum 2 years so in order to use that money we have to start multiple verticals ki bhai you know chalo interior bhi start kar diya ye bhi start kar diya and interior is a start karna to apa amount hota hai so this is uh, i don't think so be ज्यादा यू नो देयर विल बी मच एक्विजिशन इन दिस इंडस्ट्री हो होते तो आ रहे हैं देयर आर सम गुड एक्विजिशंस आल्सो बट ओके सर दिस इज व्हाट यू वांट टू ऐड ऑन टू एनीथिंग टू दिस आई थिंक इट्स अ चिकन एंड एग सिचुएशन यू नो इट्स लाइक यू नीड कैपिटल इफ यू हैव टू गो ऑन एक्वायरिंग कंपनी एंड यू नो यू नीड टू आई मीन फंडामेंटल इक्विटी इज द मोस्ट एक्सपेंसिव करेंसी यू वुड नॉट लाइक इफ यू आर यूजिंग इट वेरी एग्रेसिव इट मींस यू यू थिंक इट्स नॉट एक्सपेंसिव Uh, which is not a good sign so uh, uh, so uh, i think eventually if the value is getting created mm. it will happen and uh, the value will get created for the consumer then it will happen you know and uh, the size we all know that size is huge you know uh, so i would have a different take i would say that you know uh, as we progress consolidation has to happen mm. for everyone's good and uh, consolidation should lead to a very great ecosystem for all stakeholders and i think uh, it'll pick up a pace if there is more availability of capital true so tell me ashish uh, in proptech domain especially in india i am seeing only one or two unicorns why don't we have too many unicorns because i have met like your business are lot of profitable businesses 
but why we are not able to capture that crown of unicorn for the prop tech? I think Ankit answered that right. You, know, you have to, you need to know art of burning money to become a unicorn. I think probably, fortunately or unfortunately, we have not, we have skipped that piece. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least in the space you are referring to, uh, but nothing taking away from the unicorns out there. You know, it's, it's easier said than done. You know, it's, it's, you know, to create, like I said, you know, to create those habits with the consumers, to to bring in those uh, sizable, uh, you know, uh, who will not be happy to see so many unicorns getting created in India post COVID, and and uh, it gives hope to so many people around us. And, and the the volume of entrepreneurial spirit which has gone a uh, high in this phase post COVID is so so good. So in our sector, I would say, like as I think we skipped that cycle. A couple of them got potential, but those deaths in the sector, you know, created this thing. I think I'm very I've, I've been very candid about it. I think some of the VCs have got this wrong when it comes to prop tech and our domain mm. and I not hold myself back saying that that because of few deaths they thought that you know this is not going to work maybe at that point of time it was a great view to have but as the market progressed as you know market became you know, so many things happened yeah so there's a proper equation you know from 2014 till 2019 20 so many things happened in this country which led this sector, sector to behave in a very different way probably for 16, 17. I think that's when some of the VCs should have got it right. And some of them got it right, you know, the way REA got into this market and, you know, so I'm not calling them VCs, but, but at least they took that call and that call was right, you know, and 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 uh, the management of uh, you know, through when everybody did a great job of it. So, so they got it right, you know. It could have been something somebody else also instead of RA getting into these markets and doing something. And probably if one of us would have got got funded at that stage at the right time, you know, we could have been at a different size now. True. But that's fine. You know, uh, we waited for them, they didn't come. We, we went our way <laughs> and expanded. So we don't regret because we uh, we we think we have built a great foundation in these businesses. And that foundation should lead to creating far more value in future. Yeah. Anthony, you want to add on to this? No, yeah, everything is being <laughs> you know said by Mr. Ashish. We have uh, we are not in that uh, segment wherein we used to burn lots of money because definitely unicorn is a you know is a team aspired to be and whoever is unicorn, their founders have worked very hard to reach that you know status, but. Uh, Basically, we have to burn money and we are in this industry wherein we are not uh, doing business in that particular manner. So, if you will see lots of uh, companies in this segment, right from the start, they have made sure that they profit to yeah. And they have designed the company in that particular manner. That is why you won't see a company who has, you know, in two years, you will see how big it is. So, mm. everyone in this industry has given a respectable amount of time. Mm. Uh, invested a good amount of money in tranches mm. to build that what Mr. Ashi said gives a you know strong foundation. So unicorn in terms of valuation as of now they are new but in the coming few years you might see a you know a profitable few unicorns which India has in prop tech industry. Yeah. So as we delve into the world of prop tech in India, we have noticed there are a lot of uh, companies coming in, but they are not able to penetrate the broking uh, or the broker channel or the channel partner market, even if they are getting huge funding. What is the cause of not able to crack the code when it comes to brokers uh, industry or the broker sector or the channel, channel partner sector? What is your perspective? Where the challenge is lying? And you must be seeing these lot of companies which are trying to come in. Where are they failing and what are they doing wrong? So I think uh, you have to create value, right? Otherwise, uh, it doesn't last long. Unless you don't create value for everybody in the ecosystem, you, you, you know, and that's where the whole alpha is for the business, you know. That's where, you know, the profit can be shared among so many stakeholders, right? Yeah. Fundamentally, right? So I think... Uh, if you have to get into the brokerage enablement space, you need to understand that you need to first 
uh, you know create the value for them and uh, which is what uh, whoever cracks this code will do mm. for a period of time mm. and like any other business it would take it can take time and it it, it will need capital growth mm. so uh, you know you can't really do that in in a very short period of time which probably somebody would have tried doing you will have to you know uh, see to it that uh, you know uh, uh, and see you you can't solve one problem of my business mm. and i leave the all other problems you know and which doesn't help the equation you know you have to see to it that at least you need to understand where you know in my business where are the problems you know if you can't solve one now if you want to want solve one and then second then third so i think that's the way i look at it you know the broking business uh, is a difficult business uh, as easy as, as it may look you know uh, for 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 mom and pop shop brokerages yeah and uh, to enable that business you will have to really sort of get the, get into their business in depth which is what probably people have not tried so far mm-hmm. and uh, eventually you know they will so which are the companies which have tried and uh, you know you should be knowing na uh, why should i quote those companies yes, but uh, see isme the, the thing is that ki it's usually what the new startup companies and everything mm. what they do is in this broking industry on this real estate uh, this seg- this section of the industry it's a mix of online and offline yeah wherein first you have to understand the ground reality ki what is happening so it is not just about ki you have created a very good technology wherein customers are seeing these things and you know they are so that part is okay that customers are calling you but after that there is a huge kind you know it's just like a restaurant ki aapko bahar se acha dikhta hai but kitchen is kitchen mein kitni sari cheeze chal rahi but aapko agar if you don't have that kitchen knowledge then you will not be able to succeed correct yeah to jaise ki abhi you know yahan par ye hai ki once a customer comes to you then after that what you do so for that you have to understand how things are playing around here how builders are working how you know channel partners are working how customers are behaving with these people and how your team is working because it is a very important uh, in this industry it's very important to manage the team also so yeah. how you are managing the team how you are you know systematically segregated at different uh, departments and segments and everything so it's a very huge complex kind of thing which people misses that is the reason they are not able to you know get the success in this uh, section and this section needs little bit of in a respective amount of time aapko usko set karne ke liye aapko time lagega mm-hmm. even though you have created a good technology and everything is then you will spend huge amount of money in marketing also but once the customers come uh, then uske baad aap kya karte ho that will that a 50% or 60% kind of thing which you do and woh cheez wo nahi samajh pate honge i think that is the reason they are not able to succeed so i want to know there have been talks and especially few promoters have also have brought in our notice that when they give mandate business mm-hmm. there are times where they have noticed their leads have been shared to others uh, because if that same company is not just into broking but they are also into providing uh, the other verticals the leads have been shared that has been an issue with few promoters i'm sure you would have seen that that they fear that agar maine isko mandate de diya wo bhi itni badi company ko jisme ye sare verticals my leads will be shared and repeat honge and everything like that so when it comes to data privacy as property companies like yours how are you managing and making sure your customer data is intact and those leads are not repeated or misplaced in a certain way so uh, we are not into mandates so we are basically into primary market so there are two questions so ek to first i will answer this he in terms of data privacy so we have a very you know crms and everything is in place where usually people don't get to see the numbers of the customers at start once they interact with and we have a segment different project segment different team segment wherein the the, the customers is in quite for a project and only a team will be getting these customer details so we have a system in place wherein we are not sharing the data of our uh, clients to anybody else and we also have a policy wherein we don't uh, you know we ask the customers also if you want any other calls or still if you are looking you know to buy a home or not so that we don't call you again and again so we make sure that the customers don't get harassed because in the current listing yeah. portals this is one of the biggest issue which a customer face ki once he inquired or she inquired 
they it's get it's lots it's of yeah, calls yeah. from multiple yeah. industry and, and then he gets frustrated. So that is the issue which we are. No, uh, that I have also faced. If one person has inquired, every broker, every promoter has got the number. So the uh, team has got the number. Now, just as the platform say, no, they are doing. other things also so you might get calls ki bhai sir aapko interview bhi karana hai kya iski bhi calls abhi aane lagi hai so that is the thing which we make sure ki hum apne home buyer se apne client se upfront puchte hain at the last ki whether you want any you are looking or not if say say ye yeah, no then we make sure that ki bhai we have a different segment where this customer goes into that bucket mm-hmm. wahan par fir uske baad usko nobody will you know touch base them so this is how we are uh, Uh, making sure ki there is no privacy data privacy leak yeah i think there is no one answer to this thing i think uh, we all have to put effort to make sure that uh, data is protected and we are answerable to the consumer when it comes to data protection than anybody else you know not even going their mandate or you know whatever because if consumers data starts moving out it's not a right uh, you know right service uh similarly you know uh, uh and i think this is it's a big issue right now in the sector let's face yeah. it you know uh, and uh, like many other areas which are getting attention i think this is also getting attention and and all of us are trying to put a lot of effort on that front and we should see some results so before we end this discussion i want to know from both of you for the upcoming entrepreneurs who want to get into broking industry and who want to harness the technology what is your advice for them how to begin especially uh, channel partner ke industry mein how to start their journey and what is the main pain things they should definitely cover so uh, you know in order to success in this industry the first thing they need to do is ki they should be on the ground sabse pehle unko khud ground ko udharna padega they they can develop the technology parallelly but first they need to work on the ground and be a sales manager or sales person wherein they wo khud customer se interact kare client ko buyer se interact kare then they interact with the developers they will understand the mindset and then for the next 3 4 6 months at least wo khud bhi kuch you know they sell the property because this is how we will be generating the revenue we will sell the, you know we will make a home buyer purchase a home and we will sell the developer apartment so yahan se humko revenue aayega to koi bhi business mein utarne se pehle humko khud wo business ko experience karna padega at the ground level and then if we are agar wo usme success milti hai jo ki definitely milegi then they can start building the foundation because agar if they don't know ki kaise kaam hota hai how the things are working then they won't be able to you know they go superficial work ho jayega so should be a ground pe work karna padega if they will do it ground and definitely uske baad they can do so they should get their hands dirty first yes, to first know the business very at well very bottom of yeah. the business the lowest level yeah, very well put now this is important <clears throat> no i think uh, that's the most important part for english uh yeah, i think uh, There's so many things you can say to people who want to get into this, but uh, it's endless. You know, uh, but I think a couple of things which probably come in a flash to my mind is one is that you know you should you should not do it just because somebody else is doing it. Yeah. That's something which can completely undo the whole piece in your mind because it, as easy as it may look, you know it may not be your drive. It may mm-hmm. not be, you know. Uh, and the second thing is, uh, I think the good things take time. you need to understand that if you're building a good business and it will take time so you should know that you know uh and i think yeah that's about it uh, otherwise so uh, uh, everything else can fall in fall in place but yeah like i said the list is endless and we are still learning yeah it's not that you know uh, we know everything <laughs> we we are also learning uh, uh i i fundamentally believe and and that you know when we got listed you know that was the day zero of the company you know and we, we were trying to build this for many years but but all that is of no relevance you know we have to start that day zero company so i think that's so, so we have to learn a lot still and then probably can advise more on it okay so thank you so much ashish and ankit for joining us today and giving us great insights about your sector i'm sure our audience learned more about the primary and secondary market and also it was a great knowing about your companies and i'm sure you guys will soon become unicorn if you do uh-huh.